So when you are buying a home, it comes with a lot of questions. You're worried about how's the market? Is it competitive right now? How much home can I actually afford? Where can I buy homes in my price range? And how fast can I move in? HomeBot helps you answer all of those in a beautiful, beautiful format. So let's dive in. So for buyers, here's what it looks like. Boom, here's the front page. You have your price point that you enter here. You can either just manually input a price point that you want like 800,000 or you can calculate it and enter you know your annual income your debt and what you're estimating for a down payment um, and then you can explore it with those options let's just give it this for the heck of it um, explore and then you can say hey this uh, you, do you want to reach out to a lender to make sure you actually this price point is accurate or do you want to just enter it and trust it and you could just say not now so right down here the home bot answers the question how's the market by giving you a score so here's zero to 100 on a buyer's market for a seller's market the parts of town you're looking in show up down here and it gives it a score right there and you can see 82 is a pretty high on the seller's market so it'll give you an idea of how competitive it is in the area that you're looking by, uh, timeline to move into that area all that good stuff so that answers the question how's the market coming down here to explore all markets will help you answer the question where can i find homes in that price range what parts of denver can i afford this to get a home for 700 and right here from a bird's eye view it shows how competitive each subsection of denver is and then this fun little area here on the right of the screen you can search denver by what's most competitive where can you get the biggest or smallest house Where's the cheaper buys and where can I move in the fastest? So you can see the map really changes each time you click it, depending on what information you want. You can see here is a quicker move in date, it's less competitive. Over here, it's 110, so it's more competitive. So that is a really, really uh, fun way to explore Denver, looking at a whole myriad of options. So if you're looking at Aurora, you can see 110 days. Um, it's a little more competitive with a score of 91. The average house is around 2,148 square feet and around a price point of 560. So you get a lot of information right out the gate. Coming back to the uh, homepage, if you have any questions and you want to reach me directly, literally just click this and it'll text me and email me immediately what area should I be looking at? Is there, new, is there new construction I should know about? Or if you have a question of, you know, what type of dog do you have? Pomeranian, you can put that in there right there. Okay, how long could it take to buy? Answering the question of how long does it take to move in? You put in the zip codes you're looking for, when you're interested in moving in, whether your lease is up as soon as possible or on a certain close date. Um, and it'll give you an idea of the average closing date based on these factors here. To prepare three days, start the pre-qualification process, how long it's taking most people to search for a home, find it, and bid on it, and then, then how long it takes to close on average. These are very subject to change. Like our lender, Stephanie, is amazing, and she can close a lot quicker than 45 days most often. Don't quote me on that, Stephanie. I'm sorry. Okay, so once again, if you have questions, how do I get started? How do I shrink these timelines? Or if you have more questions, you can enter them right there. Okay, what price point can you afford at current interest rates? Uh, this gives you more information. Um, once again, if you, if you put in your income, debts, and what you're estimating for a down payment, it'll give you really specific how much you can, a home you can afford with today's um, interest rates, which is super cool. All right, how do I lock in my maximum price point? It gives you a whole bunch of great information. All right, and then last but not least, a fun little thing. If you rented your future home on Airbnb, how much could you potentially earn? You can plug in the address of where you're thinking of buying, and it'll give you an estimation of what Airbnbs are earning in that area. So as you can see, it really answers all the major questions. How is the market? How much home can I afford? What parts of Denver can I buy a home for that price point, and how quick can I move in? HomeBot gives all that information for you, and it's going to send it to you every single month as these numbers change, because the housing market, as you know, changes. So every month, you're going to get an updated bird's eye view from everything happening. And that's my girlfriend's phone uh, going off. She's a real estate agent, too. She's very popular. She says sorry. Damn, babe. You are blowing up. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. HomeBot is awesome. Sign up. Thank you. Bye.